<laughs> okay. Bible club. Okay, let's sit quietly. What do we start with the Bible club? I'm going to start with prayer. Get this working first. Okay, let's start with prayer. Close our eyes. Hands together. Okay, let's not fiddle with things. All right, let's pray. All right, dear Lord Jesus, thank you for uh, gathering us here. We pray, Lord, that you'll bless this uh, activity today and the lesson and pray, Lord, that you'll help the kids to remember and have fun. And thank you, Lord, for bringing us here. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, today, what are my rules? Does Simon remember my three rules? What's my first rule, Simon? Sit quietly. Sit quietly. That's it. What's my second rule? What is it? Listen to the bishop. When the bishop's talking, what do you do, Abel? Quiet. And what's my third rule? Timothy? If you want to say something. That's right. Good, work. Good job, Timothy. You remember the three rules that I have. So sit quietly. I want you to pay attention when the bishop's speaking. And put your hand up when you want to talk. All right. Today we are learning about... You, you leave Nora alone. Today we're learning about Exodus. Exodus means when the people left Egypt. That's what Exodus means. People left Egypt and they wandered in the wilderness. But today we're specifically learning about the Ten Commandments. Hey, remember what we do when we want to talk, Simon? We put our hand up. So we're learning about the Ten Commandments, how Moses got the Ten Commandments. Now let me ask you guys. Who thinks it would be cool to meet God? Well, you put your hand up if you think it would be cool to meet God. I think it would be pretty cool to meet God. But do you know the children in the wilderness, the children of Israel, they actually got to meet God on Mount Sinai. And you know what happened when God came? He came down with fire on the top of the mountain. And when he came, everyone was so scared. You know what they said? They said, no, we want Moses to go and talk to God because we're scared we're going to die. So when they actually met God, they were scared. Because that's what it's like to be in the presence of God with sin. So they had Moses be the mediator between the people and God. So Moses went up to speak to God. So when God came, they were all scared and God told them Ten Commandments. That's why the Ten Commandments are special because those were the ten that the people actually heard God say. And then they were so scared of meeting God because they had sinned in the presence of God that they told Moses to go up and talk to God. And Moses went up and got the rest of the commandments. Now, do you know when Moses went up to meet God? He went up into the mountain. He fasted 40 days and 40 nights. You know what happened when he came back down? His face was shining. Because God was so bright on the mountain. When Moses went up to go meet God, when he came back down, his face was shining. That People couldn't look at his face. You see this guy here, he's like, ah, it's too bright. Because Moses' face shone with the glory of God. By meeting God, his face was so bright. And you know what they had to do to Moses so that they could look at him? They had to put a veil over his face. It's so bright, they had to do this. So that the brightness of his face, you see how when he was like this? The brightness of his face was so bright, they had to put a veil over his face. What's a veil? It's like a piece of cloth to put it over his face so that they could look at him without being blinded by the light. Did you know that? You want to try that, Simon? It's like if your face is too bright. <laughs> That's how it would have been. Sarah, and we put a veil over her face so we can see like Moses. So Moses went up into the mountain and you see how he's carrying two tablets? He went up to get what's known as the Ten Commandments. Like this. This is what we're making today. Okay, so the Ten Commandments on tablets. And you know one other thing that's special about the Ten Commandments? When Moses went up into the mountain, hello, take a seat. These Ten Commandments that God spake to the children of Israel, 
When Moses went up to the mountain, God actually wrote them himself on the stone with his finger. So what are the Ten Commandments? We've got them here. First one is, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So that's our verse today. Our verse today is, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. It's the first of the Ten Commandments. Do you want to read this together? We're going to say the chapter and we're going to say the verse. So we're going to go Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. What does that mean? God wants to be number one. He wants to be first. You see how God's here is with a little g? Little g means false gods, not the true God. So he doesn't want us to have false gods before the true God, which is Jesus. And it says here, let's say it together. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. See, so God actually wrote them with his finger on the tablets. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So we need to keep God first. Now, not all the Ten Commandments apply to us. We'll go through them just quickly. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. So this is where we don't have idols. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. What does that mean? That means if you call yourself a Christian, you need to live as a Christian. You can't take God's name and then drag it through the mud. Number four, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So this one no longer applies to us. This is when they couldn't work on Saturday. And on the back of them, we have five to ten. Honour thy father and mother. Thou shalt not kill. You can't kill innocent people. Thou shalt not commit adultery. That's when you sleep with somebody. That's not somebody you're married to. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbour. That's lying about other people. And thou shalt not covet. That's when you desire things that aren't yours. Okay, it's not good to be covetous and materialistic. Now Moses, if you remember, when he went up to the mountain, remember when people were scared to see God? They needed a mediator because they couldn't be in with God's presence with sin. So just like Moses was the mediator between the people of Israel and God, who's our mediator? Put your hand up if you know who our mediator is. Timothy. God. That's right, God in the flesh. What's his name? Put your hand up if you know his name. Simon. Jesus. Jesus, that's right. Jesus is our mediator. So that's why we can be in the presence of God because we have a mediator, Jesus Christ. And we can't be in the presence of God with sin, so we need a mediator. We believe on Jesus. We can be saved. So our activity today, we're going to be making these two tablets, these Ten Commandments. Okay? So let's stand up. Let's go to the back of the room. And then we'll start putting these together. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 